did you like what you got from Josh Anderson with that that the line that you put together the other day? Yeah, I, I like the balance of the lines. Um, yeah, we, we created 28 scoring chances, which we haven't done in quite a while. Um, yeah, so I, I liked how the forward lines played. I, I thought we got some uh, some push from the fourth line also. Uh, they get scored on, but uh, yeah, I, I like the way the four lines play. It seems like your benchmark with him is be noticed, and he seemed either beyond the goal the other night. He seemed to be very engaged. Yeah, yeah, he was better. I, I think the biggest part of uh, with Josh is for him to stay physical. Um, he was around the puck. Uh, yeah, so I'm I'm, I'm going to keep that line together, and I think with his, the other two guys with him, I think that encourages that type of play. Uh, do you think, you know, following up on that, him having been on that uh, top line before, that maybe he was, his role was different in terms of, you know, looking to score more as opposed to being more physical? Well, I, I think you, I think that line had the puck quite a bit, uh, and they didn't have to chase it down a lot. I think sometimes that affects a player like that, uh, and, and where a big part of Josh's game there is, is his legs chasing things down, getting physical, uh, and, and creating a four check. Um, I, I think the line got stale, quite honestly, also. And not just Josh, but all three of them together. And uh, with people coming back, because I had to keep that line together when we had all the injuries. I tried splitting it up, and it just it thinned us out even more. Uh, but with the people coming back, it gives me an opportunity to balance the lines a little bit. And uh, uh, we, we had a ton of chances against the Islanders. Scoring, I, I know sometimes, whether it be statistics or analytics in your your thought, don't always tell the story. Where where are you with Wenberg right now? Uh, how is he playing? He's coming. You? Yeah, he's coming. He, uh, we have him at a different spot in the power play. Uh, I think he's very comfortable there. Um, it you know it, it depends what your standard is. You know, as a coach right now, when we're trying to get guys better. Uh, I can't expect him to be at hit the, the standard that I think he should be at. I think it, it's going to come in, in increments here. Uh, so I think he's trending up uh, and, and made some good plays. I, I, I still uh, like to see him with the puck more and try to beat people. Uh, but I think his play is beginning to come. John, just as an element of the scoring chances, how have you felt not just Saturday but about this group's shot location, the quality of the shots that they're taking? Oh, we had some really... Uh, you know, I, I, as I always tell you, I get a lot of analytics thrown at me about <laughs> slot shots and this, that, the other thing. But I, I watched the game and, and the other game. We had a ton of chances. We were in the blue. Uh, uh, we, we, the thing I liked about our team, right from the opening faceoff, we had a shooting mentality and trying to get shots there. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I can't even remember the game before the Islanders. Sorry, uh, I'm too old to remember all that stuff. But I know the Islander game, we were right where we wanted to be. And 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 shooting the puck, and also having some depth in our offense. We we have we have gotten stuck a, a number of times offensively because we're three down by the goal line, where we have no depth in the slot area, and a lot of rebounds come out there. You put a guy in the slot, it changes the coverage of the defensive team. It, it makes it a little bit more confusing for them. So we've really concentrated on video and in practice as far as trying to get three high. It really is getting everyone back healthy that lets you get back more on that crashing the net style, no? Yeah, well, it, 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 it gives me a chance. Like, I, I just felt, uh, uh, you know, the fourth line gets 10 minutes the last game. I think, I think it gives our team a chance to play with more energy and get to pucks more when I, when I feel more comfortable using the lines. Um, you know, it, it, and, and also, we had some important people out that, that's going to add to us there. But, we, we, when, you, when you're struggling to score goals and I'm talking about it, you guys are talking about it, they almost try too hard. And the harder they try, the further, further in the end zone they get and they're behind the net most of the time, you know, because they're trying so hard. We need to have, yeah, we need a guy in front of the net, but we also need some depth in our offense too, to change coverages, to use some open ice into the slot area. And, and all that comes into play. And, uh, and uh, the Islander game, I thought we were really good. I'm sorry, we should have asked you this right after the game the other night. What did you think of, the, of Nick's response after after the game prior to that? I, I, you guys get into this response, and ben, you know, it, I don't look for a response. Yeah. I look for Nick to play the game the right way. Nick played a good hockey game. Was it because he sat a few minutes? No. Nick, Nick's a pro. Uh, you guys like to sensationalize that because I sit a player. Is he going to respond, or right. what do you think he's going to do? Yeah. 
Wow. As I was trying to say to Dave, is he going to just sit there and be pissed off and not play? Right. He's not playing for me. He's playing for his teammates. So I, I don't I don't look for responses, and it's not a punishment. I have to make I have to make calls in games that I see fit. But it it's certainly not personal, and it's not looking for uh, to start articles by you guys. So. <laughs> John, your, PK, your PK has struggled at times. How has that hampered you in not getting some momentum during the game and using that, you know, the game some? Well, the, the, the penalty killing uh, for a couple months this year uh, when our power play was struggling was a momentum swing for us in the positive way. Obviously, the pucks are, I mean, we, we, we're not able to kill one right now. It, it, it's, uh, we've spent a lot of time on it. Uh, uh, I do think we have a mindset right now is that we're just waiting for something bad to happen to us right now. And, and be careful what you wish for. And uh, uh, yeah, we have to get that turned around. And uh, uh, we, we have a number of different things we're gonna be doing today with the guys on that and some video, but we just need something good to happen for us here. It's hurt us. Uh, just like any time the puck goes in the it hurts you. Uh, but I, I saw our penalty killing really good this year when we climbed to third or fourth. Uh, I think we can get back to that. I think we have the people that can do that. Josh was saying the other day along those lines that, that he thinks maybe it's partly shot blocking. They need to have a better shot blocking or get into the lanes a little the, more. There's a lot of things that, that, that comes into play uh, when you're struggling killing penalties. And, and the biggest one for us is our mindset. To, uh, to, to kill penalties in this league, you need to be aggressive. When you're in between and worrying about what, what's bad going to happen to you, your legs aren't moving. You're not chasing things down and putting them under pressure. I think that's the biggest thing. Shot blocking is a huge part of it. Uh, I'm not so sure that's the most important thing that's going on with our thing right now. Does it play a role in how mentally or aggressive guys can be on five on five because you worry about taking a penalty? No, that's no, a, no, 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 I, no. I don't. I, I, I thought our, uh, I thought the Islander game. I thought we played. We, we pinched. Uh, uh, we showed a number of things on face-offs when we weren't pinching on lost draws in the offensive zone. Uh, and I do think it's a byproduct of when we had guys out where we really concentrated on making sure we were good defensively. Uh, uh, I, I think we took a huge step in the right direction and how we played more freely with our pinches and, and trying to make things happen, taking chances against the Islanders. Uh, we're going to play against a better defensive team tomorrow night. Uh, so, but but we we uh, we got to get back at who we are, and, and that is not playing safe and and getting up the ice to try to take some chances. How much can you apply that mindset example to some of the positives that you're talking about right now? How much of that is that mindset that's coming to where you want it to be? That's right what now? I'm showing here. Once I get done with you guys, I've got probably 35 clips of good things we did the last game, and that's the most important thing for our team to see right now. Do we have? Uh, some breakdowns, uh, uh, you know, we have a two-minute span in the third period where we lose the hockey game right there. And really, we self-destruct on that third goal, and, and we can't kill a penalty. Uh, but I'm not interested in showing any of that stuff today. I want to show them the things and how aggressive we were and some of the good things we did, because we, we've got to get them into a, uh, a swagger-type attitude on how we play the game. Uh, I thought we showed that. Uh, uh, even even through even through all three periods, even though we were uh, we lose the hockey game, we come back after they score the two goals. Uh, we just gotta you gotta move on to the next day. Uh, uh, are we upset? We lose two in a row. Yeah. Uh, are we upset? And in, in will we bounced around here as far as wins and losses? Yeah. But we can't fix that. What we did would just happen. We gotta look ahead, and that's what we're gonna try to do. Back to uh, what you were just talking about with guys trying maybe too hard to score. Uh, can that affect finish as well? Like they're in position, they're they're they've fought for where they need to be, and then it just well, when, when, when scorers like, when scorers don't have confidence, it affects everything with their hands, and uh, it, it, they tighten up on the stick. They they overthink things. Uh, you know, I, I watch. I, I thought it was Cam, one of Cam's best games. Uh, not only because he scores a great goal, but he was darting. He he brings it to the blue uh, on a couple of plays. I, I noticed him as far as his quickness and, and, and jumping into holes without pucks. That, that's what happens to offensive players when, they, when things start coming their way. They just feel more free. And uh, yeah, so we, we, I, don't, I, don't want, I don't want them to feel they have shackles on themselves. They, they've got to allow themselves to play and let some good things happen for them.